Uh, hi everybody, this is the Planet Earth here. I wanted to show you um, my refills and I wanted to show you that I got my normal prescription now for the state of Texas. Funny how a pharmacy looks down on people, but then all of a sudden I go to a psychiatrist. The psychiatrist understands how I feel and um, is very nice and says that if you've been taking these medications for years, then you should continue to take the medications. How is it going to hurt you? So I had to change some information here, but I wanted to show you guys that I'm back on my medication normally and how it should be. So I had to change a lot of information, but um, I can't believe it. So finally, you know, after all this time, you know, I finally got my prescriptions normally. And this is in part and thanks to a psychiatrist. By the way, my new psychiatrist suffers from panic disorder himself. Yes. He understands how I feel. I can't I couldn't believe it when he told me. He he has anxiety like I do. Like we all do. He gets pan he had panic attacks and that's why he became a, a psychiatrist. And he wrote me as I felt because I told him about my panic attacks. And I told him about how the hospitals just they boot you out because they're worried about their licenses. Look what they've done to me. Look at look at look what they've done to me at the hospital. Look at this. I, I'm being bruised by these IV injections and they do it so roughly. Like, are you serious? Look what they do to me. But, but my, my psychiatrist sees what I'm suffering with and immediately rectified the situation. Plus he talked to me, which is which was really nice because I every time I have a psychiatrist, they don't usually talk much, but this one was very positive. He was very outspoken, very nice and polite. And not only was he polite though, but he opened up to me, which is I've never had a psychiatrist open up to me, and he was very respectable, and he he was a true Texan, by the way. That a true Texan usually helps people without questioning. Well, you know, without questioning, um, they're not going to lose. He even told me I deal with people from the ER room all the time, and he said that he he has he was a he was abused at, and even though he was a psychiatrist, he had a panic attack. Being a psychiatrist, but they wouldn't help him in the ER room when he was having his panic attacks. So, he knows what it feels like. This is so, this is such a bizarre uh, turn of events for my medication. He actually suffers like I do. And he genuinely was upset. And that's why he became a psychiatrist because uh, he couldn't take the fact that people were, that with, with anxiety disorders were treated so bad. And he also said that people with depression that were treated so bad. So he became a psychiatrist. And he's been in the field for many, many years. And he has a lot of clients that are extremely happy. He's got really good reviews on uh, Google and Yelp. And he treats me with a decency and respect. And that's all I wanted this whole time was respect. And I can't believe it, but I got my normal prescriptions and I'm very happy and I'm very happy I met a doctor that suffers the same stuff that I do and because of it he has a little bit more empathy than regular doctors.